hi everybody uh, today we are going to learn uh, what is the difference between the gzip command and the tar command in linux the basic difference between gzip command and tar command is that gzip actually compresses a file it actually compresses a huge size of a file to minimize its size on a disk but tar command is actually to archive a file or a bunch of files or a directory so what when we use tar tar is actually used tar command is actually used when we want to send a bunch of files through emails by attachment or want to give somebody uh, a set of so as we know uh, that gzip does not compress uh, or archives it is does not specifically archives it also doesn't compress also compress any directory so we are going to apply this uh, gzip command on this dot uh, txt extension file and just see uh, what is the actual result so let us create uh, the, the, the three files uh, I have to create it once again because uh, I have used previously the gzip command which actually removed removed the those files from the directory gzip actually removes the original file and uh, just uh, rename it to uh, suppose a.txt.gzbb.txt.gz so we are using gzip.start.txt and just now see the result what happened after we have used gzip command on the start.txt okay see a.txt.gz bb.txt.gz and c.txt.gz so uh, you can see that uh, the original file which is a.txt that does not exist only uh, this .gz extension file is existing oh, it's uh, we found it here so let's just remove it and see let's see no txt dot txt file and we have as is we have removed that dot gz file so that's how gzip works so let us now see how tar command works so we are going to tar a directory which is known as desktop desktop actually our normal desktop folder which contains which is the first screen of a operating system uh, this desktop folder we are going to archive this folder so the command is tar hyphen cvf cvf then the tar file name and then the the source folder we which we which we want to archive now what is c c is actually a command which says the tar to create the tar target tar file v is actually verbose mode which actually uh, shows you the output as you can see just now just uh, look here the output is given here if you don't uh, you haven't used this v option this output below has haven't hasn't have, have been appeared here and f actually uh, means says that says the user to give the target file name if you haven't given the command it doesn't matter you the, the default desktop file uh, name has been assigned to the tar tar uh, target tar file archive file so see the desktop dot tar uh, file is created here so th that's all about uh, this uh, gzip and tar command as you can see what is the difference this uh, one is to compress a file